Now, many of us have traced our family history. Well, one man's search led to him led to him to the story of a relative who was a bit of a legend. Chick Knight was a boxer and wrestler. He also starred in films and saved not one but three lives. Well, he's being honoured with a blue plaque today, and it's all down to a campaign by his great nephew, as Emma North explains. On my left, bombardier Billy Wells, one-time British heavyweight champion. Facing him, American all-in wrestler Chick Knight. But this was no American. Chick Knight was a son of Hammersmith. And if there was any part of 1930s London that needed a bit of muscle, he was right there. The wrestler punches the boxer in the stomach and is disqualified. He went by the names of the Cockney Killer, London's lovable villain, and the Russian bear. His billing intended to strike fear into the hearts of his opponents. This was real, proper wrestling. These guys got really hurt. Um, we got one instance where they think Chick's back is broken and the actual boards on the, on the mat uh, underneath her at the wrestling mat, they actually break as well. And it was while doing some family research that Andy found Chick. The number of tales grew until there was enough to fill a book. He was a lifeguard, a security guard at Kensington Palace, a stuntman and occasional oh, film actor. But it will be an act of pure kindness that brings him lasting fame. Chick had already saved a soldier from drowning in Gibraltar. It was here on Hammersmith Bridge in 1930 that he did it again. My great uncle Chick and his son Ronnie are walking across the bridge. Chick sees two people in trouble in the water, says to Ronnie, you go and get help, I'm going to go in. He dives in, uh, about 16 feet of water, straight into the Thames, pulls the young girl out and subsequently goes in and rescues the gentleman who'd also got into trouble. How much of a celebrity did it make him at the time? Uh, it didn't, because it went completely unrecorded. There was nothing in the local paper, nothing in the local archives, and he never talked about it. But this is what we'll be able to remember him for, with the record of a man who for two decades was a true heavyweight. Emma North, BBC London.